busy Sunday mornings hiding under covers. I don't mind staying in with you. Play your favorite movie, laying right beside me. I don't mind when it's just us two. The corner coffee shop we like to go. beautiful, wonderful, fantastic friends. I just remembered that <laughs> my pimple patch is on. They're cute pimple patches. Look, it's Chimmy. Chimmy and... It's Chimmy and Shuki. Anya's gonna knock this camera over. Oh, yeah. going to I'm gonna take these off first it's been a little bit since I've uploaded my reasoning behind that is just Mary came and I planned on filming a lot while she was here we did film quite a bit we filmed a bit like the first few days she was here but I don't know it was just I just wanted to like spend time with her and like really be present with her we didn't film all that much but we did quite a bit like every day was pretty busy and we were waking up around like 6, anywhere between 6 and 7 a.m. And because of that, my sleep schedule has been pretty good. So right now is currently like 6, 6, 10. And I think I'm going to go to the gym today. I haven't really been going to the gym because I've been letting my tattoos heal. I got two new tattoos while Mary was here. I got this tattoo, which is just a light bulb. If you guys don't know the video game Omori, it is my favorite video game of all time. And that is what this light bulb is referencing. And then my other tattoo is on my back. That's my... My spine tattoo, it just says prevail. It's like a little flower and it says prevail going down my spine. Mary was the one that was like, no, you should get prevail because prevail means not only are you going through stuff, but you're coming out stronger, you're coming out victorious. And I was like, ooh, I like that, I like that. I got them about like a week ago. I think today I'm gonna go to the gym. Probably just end up going to like my apartment gym or something and just kind of doing what I can do there. I think I'm gonna get on a call with my friend later because she's gonna be visiting me in a few days, which is super exciting. She's just gonna be staying over for one night during this week. Instead of like drinking the powdered pre-workout, I'm drinking these Alani News. They're so, so good. <laughs> This one is Tropsicle. Oh, hello, my flower children. And hello, Miss Boomy. Look at that loaf. That is a 10 out of 10 loaf. You're doing amazing. That's my baby girl. That's my baby girl. Oh, mommy, baby. Clean the sheets today. It's Sunday. It's sheet cleaning day. Am I disturbing you? My apologies. Oh yeah, but here's some of the, you guys can't really see it, but some of the decor that uh, Mary and I did. Well, Mary mostly did that because she's taller and she was able to reach all that stuff. Oh dear. You guys are on the cat tree right now as like the tripod. And oh yeah, Anya. Anya. Sweetie, come here. Don't push the camera. Leave the camera alone. Baby girl. I don't know what it is about the laundry room in particular, but. They always, always want to come in here, but I don't let them in the laundry room because I have my, these are like the pods that I use and I feel like they're going to eat them. You're mad at me.
No, 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 no. Relax. Relax. Calm down. I have to feed her in a separate room because they can't handle being together. They'll eat each other's food. She gets a few extra treats because she has to gain weight anyway. Relax. 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 <laughs> Listening to like upbeat, happy music in the morning, life changing, life changing. I'm a sad music girl. I love my sad music. But listening to like upbeat, happy music, it really gets gets me in the mood, you know? We'll leave the sad music for nighttime. I got some packages yesterday. This is just a photo printer I got so I can print pictures out from my phone in a non-Polaroid way if I want to. I've been thinking about like starting an Amazon storefront. I know some people can be like super annoying with their Amazon storefront. I don't really understand how Amazon storefronts work, but I always see people go like, link to my storefront. They like won't link things for you because they want you to go to their storefront, which is like, honestly, I know it can be annoying to some people, but I think it's valid. You know, get your coins, sis. I don't know. As of right now, it's gonna be a little side thing. So I will link things and if you want, you can go to the storefront. I got this cute little pajama set. I really like this color. A pair of shorts and this little tank top. I'm really into greens ever since I like went back to dark hair because I love green, but when I had pink hair, it looked like it looked like a watermelon. I didn't like the vibes. I got this green set. It looks pretty similar. I just think the top is slightly different. Yeah, the top looks like this. This will be a cute little lounge set for around the apartment. Oh my gosh, yes! I have to, oh my. I'm so happy it came in. <gasps> I'm obsessed. It's a Hello Kitty Polaroid. I think it's freaking adorable. And look what I also got. It's a little bag for it. How cute. She's not afraid of all the attention. She's not afraid of running wild. I also got this bag. I think you guys are gonna love. I love it. Oh my gosh. I think it's so cute. It's a Sailor Moon purse. Hold on, let me get the, the strap on. Not like that. But all the things she said, talking on the phone so late. How come she's so afraid of falling in love? Oh my god! Look at how cute! It has little cat ears on it. I think it's like a perfect size. I think these are straws. Got some like glass straws. This is what they look like. I don't want to take them all out, but look how pretty they are. They have like little flowers on them. Oh, I should get ready and start going to the gym now. I don't want to buy you drugs Like you so much better when you're not for you Just a little too much like that Whoa, 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 whoa. Casey, I don't want to fall in love Thought I had the time but this is not enough Boy, I don't tend to give my trust like that about to head out to the grocery store. I'm gonna do a little bit of grocery shopping and then for breakfast, it's like already noon. I should really eat something. I think I'm gonna just get some bagels while I'm at Whole Foods and then I will make like a really quick breakfast once I get home. I feel like it's pretty chilly today. It's, uh, oh, it's 74. It's not chilly today. It is not that chilly today. It was chilly this morning. It was like 50 degrees this morning. That's cold. That's cold as hell. <laughs> Anya, you're being... What? You don't want to say hi? You want to say hi? Hi! I am back from grocery shopping and I got some new cookies that I kind of want to try. These are, uh, they're called free to eat 
but the red velvet cookies and I love, love red velvet. And then these are trail mix cookies. I wanna try them before I eat a proper meal. This will be like my appetizer. I'm not a fan of this packaging though. I feel like the cookies go stale really quick. Well, the color is definitely not what is on the box, but that's okay. Mm. They're okay. I'm not really a big fan. Let's try these now. Mm. Mm. Not bad. They aren't really like soft. They're super dense and they're kind of tough, but I like the flavor a lot. Hello, my loves. Um, so it's been a little while since I ate my breakfast. I've just been on the phone with my friend Minnie because she's visiting in a few days. We were just kind of catching up and talking about what we would do when she came. Really excited. We've been friends for years and we've never gotten to meet, which is crazy. So it'll be our first time meeting. I'm so excited. But yeah, we've just been talking and I caught up on some webtoons and it was a lot of fun. So now I told my friends that I'll be playing some games with them in a little bit. But until then, I wanted to just have some me time. So I recently got this book. I wanted to show you guys. It's like a workbook. I'm supposed to be getting the actual book today, I think. It's supposed to arrive today by 10 p.m. But I got this book, and it's called Maybe You Should Talk to Someone, and it's the workbook version. And I thought it'd be really nice to maybe do this and maybe talk over it with my therapist the next time I see her. But yeah, I've heard pretty good things about the, the book, I haven't heard too much about the workbook, but I feel like the workbook would be really helpful for someone like me. So I think I'm just gonna kind of work on some of these prompts before I get back to hanging out with my friends. Let's do that, shall we? This is my flower pen. Isn't it cute? <laughs> Oh my gosh, my back is so itchy. The tattoo's so itchy. Ugh, anyway. I'm going to be making some dinner and it's actually pretty late for dinner right now. It's like 9.30. I usually eat dinner a little bit earlier lately because I'm going to bed earlier. So I'm going to be making some soft tofu soup. Very, very good. I get this little Osundubu kit at H Mart. So I'm gonna be using this and I'm gonna be adding some kimchi. I'm gonna be adding some bok choy, some mushroom, and some noodles. And I'm gonna have some rice on the side as well. Hello. think of some things I've learned in Therapy Thursday over the past few weeks that I haven't like updated you guys on too much. I think the past few weeks we've mostly been just touching on like why I am the way that I am and kind of just digging back into my childhood as to why I am the way that I am. And I feel like I've talked about it so many times especially people that like follow me on Twitch. I feel like I talk about this stuff on Twitch so often so if you guys want to follow me on Twitch, you definitely should because we have frequent therapy and mental health talks over there. Just kind of talking about once again, like why I feel like unconditional love should be associated with like unconditional relationships. It's because I saw that with my parents and I saw it as a very beautiful love because it was. And also why I feel so incredibly, I feel like we've talked about that last time, like how I give people unconditional love because I saw my parents give each other unconditional love when they were not doing the best and it's because they were physically ill but I now I give unconditional love to people that aren't physically ill and they're just not being very kind to me but I'm justifying it in my head because they have like their own trauma and their own backstory and their own past and instead of taking those things and being like oh it explains this behavior 
I take it and I'm like, it justifies this behavior, which is not good. That's not good. Another thing that we've been talking about is something that I thought was really interesting. And it was basically just talking about how I don't feel worthy of like love, care, kindness, respect, affection, any of these good things. I don't feel worthy of any of that unless I'm doing something that that person deems as good. The reason I stress myself out so much is because I try to be perfect for everyone, which is like being perfect in general is already impossible. But like I try to be perfect in everyone's eyes. I start to see myself as a very like black and white person as either like I'm good or I'm bad instead of seeing myself as just all humans, which are pretty morally gray. A good person is so subjective and who's to say who's a good person? You know what I mean? What's important is like, do I think I'm a good person? Do I believe I'm a good person? But because my worth relied so heavily on other people, I felt like I needed to do everything. I had to be perfect or else I wasn't worthy of like respect and love and kindness. I was worthy of any abuse that like came my way, which is terrible. Even though my parents were amazing parents, they were so amazing. And whenever I got poor grades, they were never like rude about it. Like, you know, there are some parents out there that will like rip their kids apart, right? They'll be like, you are so dumb. You are literally worth nothing. Like they'll tell them that. And then my parents, they never did such a thing. They were more like, okay, like, let's see what went wrong here. And they were really, really good about it. But the thing is, even as a kid, my therapist was telling me, but think about it, when you're a kid and when you get a good grade, your parents celebrate. And they're like, oh my gosh, Diana, we're so proud of you. You're amazing, yada, yada, yada. Um, let's go out and celebrate and all these things versus when you don't get it that great of a grade and they're like clearly a little disappointed, uh, even though they're not like being mean about it in any way, they're clearly disappointed. And you as a kid see that and you see the difference in reactions. And you're like, oh, if I'm not doing well in X, Y, and Z, then I will not get my parents' affection. I am now raised with that. And it was recently just like very enforced and apparent. And like, I think it's something that I never really thought about too much. I think I was always like, I knew that I relied a lot on people's praise to determine my worth, which is not good. That's something I think I already knew, but I don't think it was ever like so bad where I really had to confront it too much. Um, but it became really apparent very recently that I just, I feel so worthless. I feel so unworthy of like basic human decency if I'm not being perfect, if I'm like doing things wrong. I like to explain it as um, I feel like a machine. Let's take this blender for example. You have a blender and you kind of expect it to work a certain way. And then when it starts to not work a certain way, like let's say you're putting it in and you're twisting it and it doesn't spin. So you take it out and you're kind of like, like, why isn't this working? Why isn't this working? You start hitting it a little bit, right? That's what I feel like sometimes. Like, I'll justify it in my head, and it's like, but bitch, you're not a blender. You're not a blender. People are not supposed to be treating you like you're a blender. But I'll think of it like that, and I'll be like, well, it's justified that I'm being treated this way because I'm not being their ideal version of me. I'm not living up to their expectations of what they thought I was gonna be like. I did something wrong. Like, I'm a bad person. I'm wrong, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And it's like a lot of negative self-talk that I do to myself on a daily basis. And I've gotten a lot better since, you know, going to therapy and talking about all this stuff and like reading books and everything. But that's basically where my head's at. Even though it's crazy, like even though my parents were amazing, amazing people, they were amazing parents. No parents are gonna be perfect, you know? And I think they did a very, very good job. But it's just like when you're, when I was a kid, I like clearly saw the difference in how much love and affection I received. And I created that and now it's kind of solidified into this belief that I put into my current relationships as an adult now, which is bad because now it's not someone even just being like nice. It's not like my parents were nice about it, right? But sometimes people won't be so nice about it and they will say things like, you know, they'll make say things that make you feel like a bad person. And that's kind of how I felt. And I really started to question whether I was a good person or not. And I started to base all of my worth on like another person. I was so codependent on my dad and I never realized like how codependent I was on him. And because I never realized it, I never really healed it because my dad was my best friend. Like I never really thought of it as a negative thing. But there's still a lot of trauma to heal from that I, I didn't recognize till more recently. That's my little therapy Thursday tidbit. A little like summary of uh, some of the things that my therapist and I have been talking about. I miss talking to you guys. Thank you guys for your patience with me just in general over the past few months. I've been so wonky with my YouTube schedule and everything like that. Um, and then I've been just doing a lot of traveling, a lot of touching grass, a lot of socializing over the past uh, little bit. So 
It's also made it kind of difficult to film because I'm just trying to balance everything. These past few months have been like pretty good for me and I think really important for me to have. And your guys' continuous support through all of that means the world. So thank you, thank you, thank you for those who continue to support me. And for those who, you know, even supported me at one point and stopped supporting me, I still appreciate you. Like, there was a time when you did support me. And I really, really appreciate that. So thank you to everyone. A special thank you to everyone who stayed. Special, special thank you to those who stayed. Soup should be about done. I'll just clean up a little bit. Okay, so we have the beautiful, beautiful dinner here. I kind of feel like watching Twilight. Is that weird? I love Twilight. I think Twilight is a cinematic masterpiece. Is it problematic as fuck? Yes. Does it have issues? So many, can't even begin to count. But is it entertaining? Yes, it's so entertaining. Gosh. Something about like Twilight and like High School Musical, obsessed, obsessed. Watch them all the time. My dad's Charlie. He's Charlie. Kid. My dude. Ugh, Jacob, derogatory. They filmed this like only a few years after Shark Boy and Lava Girl. How weird is that? This is perfect. You, Jacob, you weirdo. It's time to take off my makeup. Amazing time of the night. And my friend Jana, my dear, dear, lovely friend Jana, said that she wants to have a better skincare routine. And she's like inspired by me. And I was like, so touched. <laughs> so, gonna walk you guys through. I have hiccups, no! Anyway, this is what I use to take my makeup off. I either use this, anti-polyaging cleansing water, Himalayan pink sea salt, or I will use this, which is a, like a skin melt, Saturday skin. This one works really well too. Cleanser. So using this matcha hand hydrating cleanser. I really, really like this cleanser. And while the skin's still wet, I use this hyaluronic acid. I heard that hyaluronic acid just works better on damp skin or else people feel like it dries them out or breaks them out. I'm not really sure. And I'm also going to be using this cooling algae eye serum from Tony Mo Tony Mo Tony Moly. Tony Moly. <laughs> Look how cute this packaging is too. It's a little whale. I mainly got it for the packaging, but this brand has some like of the cutest packaging I've ever seen. Okay, once everything is soaked in, that's when I use my moisturizer. I use this rice cream moisturizer. I have to get more, I'm almost out, almost out of this stuff. It's so good. Leaves my skin feeling amazing. Last but not least, I like to do like an overnight mask. So here are some of the overnight masks that I kind of cycle through. I really like using this one. It's very moisturizing, very hydrating and it's an ultimate nourishing rice overnight spa mask. I just wake up feeling super hydrated and like my skin drank a gallon of water and it just feels so nice. <laughs> I also really like using this Cats Perfect Night Mask by Tony Moly, mainly for the packaging. And then the last one that I like to use is the Saturday Skin Yuzu Vitamin C Sleep Mask. I always wake up feeling very bright. I would say that my go-to is this one typically. And then for my for my lips, I've been using a, a lip mask. This one is uh, the Tatcha the Kisu lip mask. Very very good. That's my nighttime skincare routine. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I feel like I've shown it to you guys a few times, but I also showed you guys a few extra things today. I have like so many more things I could show you guys. I've been like really into skincare and just care, just self care. I'm really trying to get into it <laughs> because I've been neglecting it for, um, uh, let's see, the past um, 25 years or so. so. <laughs> Oh,
calm down. And thank you guys so much for watching today's video. This video was actually filmed quite a while ago, but I still hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for your patience during this, once again, little hiatus that I ended up taking. I was just pretty busy. I was enjoying life and I've been really happy. And it's been the first time I've been happy in a really long time. And I've just been trying to enjoy it and figure out how to balance, you know, work and life. So I'm back to filming, back to uploading. Thank you guys for your patience. And of course, if you haven't already heard today, you are amazing, you are beautiful, you are wonderful, you are so valid, and I am so, so happy that you are alive. I love you so, so much, and I hope to see you in the next video.